Hey guys, it's Coach K with another Sketchit video and I am going to revisit biomimicry today because of the uh, the great response I got to the Puffin video. So I went through uh, a box of items that I've kind of collected over time. Uh, actually the skull was uh, found by one of my daughters on, on a walk with her dog. Uh, there's a, a moth or butterfly, I'm not quite sure, and part of a wasp nest, which I texturally found very interesting. Um, dried out flowers. A lot of times I'll find insects that have uh, passed away on the patio uh, or my back deck. And so I'm just kind of showing you some different some different things from nature that can be very inspirational in your ideation. What's really quite interesting is that you can look at a few of these examples like the skull and the honeycomb nest of the uh, of the wasp and they really are protection for something, right? It provides, uh, the skull provides protection for your brain and uh, which is essential to live and the honeycomb as well is a protection for uh, larvae and uh, that's kind of where they grow and are protected until they're ready to to fly off. So what I think I'm going to do today is really combine some of these ideas because I like the idea of uh, protecting something uh, and the but inspirationally I, I really like what I see in the the dragonfly, how it's very delicate, but in particular the one that I showed you uh, it, just a second ago, it's really the the stance or the posture with the the forward sweep of its wings uh, that really was very interesting to me. So I'm going to be sketching on a uh, a tent, a camping tent, and using these dragonflies as inspiration and in particular the the one that i'm sketching on now and so what i would encourage you to do is really before you just dive in trying to think about ideas uh in, in the form of a tent uh i usually like to take my inspiration whether it's again the skull or a dragonfly and i i'll spend some time sketching it out and that way I'm becoming familiar with a uh, wing structures and the, the veining that's in the wings, uh, the way that they're, the body parts are attached to each other, the transitions that occur from head to body to tail and, uh, you know, legs and feet. Uh, and so th th those are elements that ultimately when I do transition into sketching on the camping tent, there may be elements from that experience of having sketched out the uh, the dragonfly and maybe a few different perspective views that I can uh, kind of imbue my design with some of these new elements. So right now you're seeing me sketch out uh, just with a pen. I'm not really going to be getting into any kind of marker work uh, on this example. The puffin example, if you've seen that video, was a little bit more literal in how the aesthetic of the bird ended up uh, in the, the product concepts that were drawn out. And so today I'm going to be a little less literal and uh, I'm going to take that, particularly that stance uh, in, in the, upper, uh, the upper sketch that you're looking at right now and figuring out how could I uh, incorporate some of those elements from nature into the tent design. So the next time you're having kind of a mental block and you're not really sure kind of what the next, where you're going to get the next ideas or how you can go any further with concept development, uh, just take a simple walk outside and uh, pick up a leaf, pick up a branch, piece up, pick up a piece of wood. Uh, whatever you find and try to think about, okay, if I had to productize something with these natural elements, what would it look like? And you can get, you know, do like I did here and 
start sketching out the leaf patterns, see how they fold, unfold, curl up, and all of a sudden they might actually give you some inspiration. So I think I'm about ready to do some thumbnails and see how some of these things translate, but I'm gonna make some additional notes for myself. I always refer back to my notes, and so I'm identifying certain things that I've kind of discovered along the way. Uh, this Y-shaped pattern, also the, the forward-leaning posture angle that I've, that I've indicated there, and really the veining also in the, in the wings. So now these, these quick sketches here are really just for myself. These aren't intended to be for presentation purposes. I'm just literally trying to see how certain aspects of the dragonfly might influence the development of multiple concepts. Your thumbnail sketches are really important because it allows you to not only explore the, the inspirational aspects of the product, but you also will have a list of features that have to be incorporated, normally supplied by your client. But understanding tent construction, assembly, uh, production, how they're actually made, is is really critical and so even at a thumbnail level you can incorporate some features that really communicate to the client that you understand their product which is uh, extremely important so like even what i'm sketching right now is i'm adding an extra layer of reinforced fabric on the bottom side or i'm, I'm trying to indicate that on the bottom side of the tent and it wraps up around the side a little bit that's the hatchwork also, there'll be zip down windows, right? So I'm trying to incorporate at least the, the understanding that, you know, I'm not sure exactly what the shape's going to be or which direction they're going to open. So incorporating this level of detail, even early in a thumbnail sketch uh, or a, a secondary presentation sketch, really will speak volumes to your client about your knowledge of their product line and the product that you are currently working on. I've got this side view that I really kind of like and want to maybe emphasize a little bit further so I'm going to translate that onto a new page and probably end up adding some marker and some detail work uh, and this would be a this would be a sketch then that I would show to, let's say, my boss or my design director. Uh, it'd be great for you know participating in some group discussions, and it's the type of sketch that people will really be able to respond to, and you can extract really valuable information about the design as it evolves and as you move into uh, another phase. If in fact you know everyone agrees and and, and they like it as well. If you want this concept to survive the first round of critique and feedback, then you want to be sure that you communicate your design intent as thoroughly as possible, yet at an early ideation stage, right? So these are quick sketches. You have to be efficient. You hear me talk about that all the time. And so, and it's important too that, that I, you know, I would go into a meeting uh, with a sketch like this, but I would also uh, likely have five, six, seven more, slightly more refined sketches, you know, where I'm adding the marker and, you know, all of that plays into design intent. Color breakup, proportions, all of that can be emphasized in different ways. Maybe how the tent structure itself goes together, how it's assembled and set up uh, at your location. Any little subtle details that you can incorporate, I think, lend that realism and conveys the fact that, you know, you really know what you're talking about, as I mentioned earlier. So, you know, right now, 
and I'm just playing around with the uh, the extension rods that go through the, the the fabric. And I didn't really do that with my pen because those little rods are concealed uh, beneath fabric. And so I'm just going to use the marker stroke and then probably reinforce that with a highlight as we get a little bit further along. Uh, the orange marker, just a, a quick indication perhaps of the branding aspect. I, as you know, I, I try to incorporate that into a lot of my sketches. And, you know, the, the support lines, emphasize them a little bit. And then I'll go around and tighten things up a little bit with a straight edge and a heavier pen line, final line weight. So I, I like that I like that line between rough uh, conceptual line work, but then also cleaning it up so there is a level of precision because it's it really is the precision that makes it uh, look manufactured. And, and as again, I say all the time, we are designing for a manufactured world. So our sketches and early concepts need to convey that. So I think for the rest of this video, I'm just going to let the uh, let the video run and you guys can watch how I pull this together. Uh, this is the type of sketch that I would use for a very preliminary presentation it, and it helps communicate the, the basic design intent that I that I had from the beginning. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, let me know. And otherwise, uh, I'll see you in the next video.